Rugby wrap up. Watch it. Brought to you by Friends of the British Council. Everybody, welcome back to Rugby Wrap-Up. Matt McCarthy at the Fantasy Sports Network, Studio 34. You may have seen our segment with Martin and Steve Lewis talking about the match, the epic match, Team USA beating Scotland. But we also have something for those of you that couldn't attend, and it's courtesy of AFIA Sports Training Group. Here it is. Historic evening in Houston. Got Sean Davis here and Will McGee, both of the Glendale Raptors and the United States, who just tipped over a tier one team for the first time. I wish it was Wales, I wish it was Ireland, I wish it was England, it was Scotland, but congrats anyway. Thank How do you much. feel? Oh, we feel amazing. Just want to thank all the past Eagles and everything that they've done. I mean, without everything that's gone in the past, we wouldn't be able to get to the place we are now, so thanks to them. But it feels bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. Excellent. Well, I mean, I was felt like all the guys in the stadium watching it until the end there. But oh, the boys were unbelievable. We, we, we felt that we could do it in the week. The boys trained hard. And I mean, some of the guys out there, Joe Talfati, Quilly, outstanding, like unbelievable. And the little wizard himself, unbelievable. Was there a point you felt things I mean, changed confidence wise, perhaps? Just half time, we knew that we, we could come out and do it. And then Joey came out right after half and just was a bowling ball and scored a fantastic try. And I think that just turned things around. Just, just seeing as you were watching more of it, Will, <laughs> what did you think? Was there a key moment? I mean, that last 10 minutes was unbelievable defence. They just kept getting back in, kept giving away penalty, kept holding him out on the line. And then you see the effort of all the boys lined up at the, in the 79th, 80th minute just to go and charge down that kick or do whatever we possibly could to get that win. It was just unbelievable from everyone involved. All for so, man of the match for me was Smoke and Joe. That man is yeah. lethal from when he's in five metres. With, yeah. Within five metres, he's lethal for you. Hard to argue that one. Uh, hands down, he was a beast. 75 minutes of that way, I wouldn't want to do it. I was going to say everyone, but if you have to single out AJ Joe, as well, AJ yeah. as well. A AJ Man, he is unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. So, so do we appreciate how big a night this is for the sport yeah. in this country? It's fantastic. It's f massive. <laughs> 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 and we waited that out. <laughs> no, no, no. That out. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So, so, wrapping it up on Rugby Wrap-Up here from BBVA Stadium, Compass Stadium in Houston, with two pretty top men right now in World Rugby. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for all the support to everyone in Houston. Let's just keep, let's keep it building. Keep this train going. And Will McGee. See you in Nova Scotia next week. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. Dylan, what's so hard about this game? All you keep doing is winning. Oh, believe me, you know, we like to make it hard sometimes. But that was an unbelievable feeling. Were you just teasing him? <laughs> No, we were grinding for every every second of that game. What that were you What were you thinking when he was lining up for the conversion? That, I just thought we were going to win. That's it. Thought we had it. That's it. We were going to put no pressure on him. He was going to miss that. But in fairness to him, it was a tough kick. Unbelievable display by Scotland. Uh, it's just an unbelievable feeling to be a part of this squad. We we have a fantastic squad here. Uh, it's just so lucky to be a part of it. Well, congratulations, my friend. Well earned. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, man. John Quill, you are an amazing man. Coach Jack Clark, a lot of uh, emotion out there for you. You've got your uh, players from Cal all through the roster. No, it was a great night for American rugby, wasn't it? You know, I mean, what a historic victory for us. It's it's our first scalp against a major rugby playing nation, and what a what a fantastic effort on this team and their coaching staff. Really, really pleased for them and all of us. You've been around USA rugby forever you know and would you say this was the biggest win sure 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, I think historically it is. I mean, you, you know, I mean that was a, that was a good Scotland team, right? I mean, you're gonna you you, you you you'll hear that this guy wasn't there and that guy wasn't there, but that was a pretty good Scotland team. A lot of those guys featured in the Six Nations. It was a great, great victory. We were a little bit behind things in the first half. Second half, we came out on fire. We were great in the second half. I mean, I I I, I thought we. We played well in the first half, but they had all the field position. We gave up that soft early try, and uh, and you now that we're we have a ball in their half of the field, and great great touch kick, and now it's a line out in our own five, another try, and you know so we, we were we were chasing the game by way of field position, but coming out in the second half and scoring that early try right away, and then getting on the front foot, we were a different team in the second half, and. And then to close out that game the way we did, I mean, to show the bravery those guys showed on the field, it's a hot night, man. So it's pretty easy to punch your ticket, right? And those kids kept competing, man. They held their nerve, right? I mean, it's it's, it's composure, resiliency, some things we haven't seen. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and just, just, just to have a, you know, a steely eye about the whole thing. I mean, that's what they had to me. I mean, like, like they knew it was going to be hard, but... Man, they just bared down at the right time. Just so pleased for, you know, Blaine Scully, pleased for his team. So proud of all of them. And you got uh, whatever Gary Gold said in halftime. Yeah. We got to put that in a bottle. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I mean, he, you know, he, he might want to use that again sometime. Yeah, good for him. Good for Gary. Good for his staff. Great, great victory. Well, I want to thank you because I know that you've put a lot of work into this country and rugby yeah. and everything else. Well, it's a good moment for you guys, too. No, I appreciate it. It's a good moment for all of us, isn't it? I mean, this is, uh, this is the rugby life, right? This is where we get to celebrate. Yeah. you know the, the work that those guys did and you know how lucky we all are exactly coach Jack Clark what's it like to be the only undefeated CEO in USA rugby history against a tier one nation I've had worse days in my life Matt bring it on <laughs> Blaine Scully piece of cake um, it was a pretty incredible performance from every single man that was out there um, in the prep we had all this week and credit to all 27 the guys who were in camp and and the coaching staff and and the admin administration I mean I think it was a it was a program effort and the resilience we demonstrated the last five minutes to pull Scotland out for as long as we did and force a tough kick to, to win the test match difference between this and the Challenge Cup win Clark. I'm totally different I'm, I think you know I, I'm more I'm more proud of the team it's not about me and, and um, anything I've done uh, it was it was a team effort tonight and one through 23 stood up, and that's what you saw. What was said at halftime? We just knew we had to get on the right side of the referee. Um, we didn't feel good about our discipline coming in. I think the penalty count was 9-2, and, and we just needed to stick to what we know what we can do. And I, we saw that what, when we did that, we put, put them under pressure, and, and that's really what the second half was. After you did the interview of the post game, you took a knee. What was going on in your head? I just had a moment of emotion that was a little bit overwhelming, and. You know, it feels like a culmination of a, a lot of things, and you know, I'm I'm pretty excited for what's next. Well, I got to tell you something. That was one of the most thrilling sporting events I've watched. I was nervous to even watch at the end, thinking I'm a jinx, and watching you guys pull that out. Was there a doubt at all that, that he was going to make the kick, or did you, did you think he was going to nail the kick? I, all we knew is we just wanted to get off the line and see if we could put any pressure on him, and. I think I think the team deserved that. The American fans making some noise during the kick. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It worked. Anyway, much deserved and well earned victory for you, you. and boys. Thank Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks, All right. Man. Enjoy. Joe, most thrilling match for you? Uh, yeah. You know, especially when you play against a tier one nation, you really want to put your best foot forward and bring the physicality early. What was the turning point for you in terms of saying to the guys? We can win this thing. I say in that second half when we came off of a, a mall and, you know, put up points before before they did. How's the body feeling right now? Yeah, the body's given up, you know. It, it was through the boys that really pushed me to, you know, get out of that dark place. And I've been in there about five, six times in the game. And if it wasn't for them, you know, they, I wouldn't have, you know. You were an absolute beast on the pitch, man of the match, as far as anybody that I was with was concerned. What are you doing differently? Um, just watching what I eat, uh, you know, that's the biggest struggle for a big man is, you know, I love my food. And that's the most dangerous place thing. What are you looking forward to next? Uh, getting home to my family, seeing my, my baby and uh, my baby mama and 
you know. Uh, is there any, um, do you and Coach Gold have a secret handshake because of the, you're with the Warriors or something like that? Is there a synergy there going on that we don't know about? No, it's just, uh, you know, when we catch eyes and we see that there's a fire that, that needs to come out. I think that's the only thing. We don't have a handshake. Maybe we should come up with something. But, you know, when he gives me that look, I know it's time to roll. Well, I got to tell you, Warrior is an appropriate name for you, my friend. And uh, you made every U.S. Eagle fan out there very proud of this nation. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Go Eagles. All right. Thank you.